I'm having friends over tomorrow. Luann Van Houten. Backstabber. Bernice Hibbert. Snob. And Helen Lovejoy. Okay, she's pretty hot. <sighs> I was going to ask you if you could watch Maggie. Oh, yeah, of course. Where's Daddy Peekaboo? <laughs> Where's Daddy Peekaboo? <laughs> Where's Daddy Peekaboo? <laughs> Where's Daddy Peekaboo? Oh, you're sick of it already? What to do? What to do? What to do? Do what to do? Uh... More lemonade, ladies? No, thank you. I've had better lemonade at Ralph Wiggum's stand, and he stirs it with his finger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mags, I'll level with you. I love you, kiddo. But we are in two completely different worlds. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We've been asked to redecorate the schoolroom where the kids wait when the ride is late. I have some ideas. Marge, you have many wonderful talents, but your sense of style is, uh... One of them? I'm afraid not. Hmm. No. What the... Is it that bird? Uh, whistling format radio. Huh? Uh, uh, where is that whistling coming from? Maggie? There must be a reason you were given this gift. <gasps> it's to make people think I can whistle! Since you don't like my style, maybe I should show you the door. You mean the brown door, next to the hot pink walls. Just like at the circus. Well, an elephant does live here. <laughs> an elephant? Mm. I do, too, have taste. I'm afraid not. Mm. Corn cob curtains. Mom, what's wrong? Why aren't you answering me? I'm right here. What do you think of my light pickup room? It's wonderful. Genius. Listen, I recently purchased the old post office to renovate. Would you like to be my interior decorator? Well, ladies, looks like someone appreciates me. Now do it backwards. Now sideways. Hey, come on, she's just a baby. Who is? Uh, my talent. Makes sense. She's got my whistling gene all right, which unfortunately skips a generation. I hope it works out better for you than it did for me. Our next act is a swell kid from right here in Springfield. His hobby is straightening elbow macaroni. <laughs> Let's hear it for little Abraham Simpson. And I got cocky. Tried a little stunt called the Triple Windy. <laughs> Blew out the ligaments in my lips. Had to hire guys to kiss my girlfriend. It was a good deal. I'd pay for five minutes, but it would go on for hours. And now she's going into showbiz. Couldn't showbiz screw her up? You know, like it did Ron Howard? He hasn't won an Oscar since 2002. Oh, please, son, do this for me. Man, Maggie's talented, Lisa's talented. What am I good at? The birds love you. Well, yeah, but they also love Grandpa. This is my new property. The original Springfield Post Office. Jewel of the Implosion District. You'll get used to that. In case she sees something she shouldn't, have a hood ready. Yeah. Ah. Idiota! You whack who you shouldn't, and you don't whack who you should. <sighs> Is this about your brother again? Fantastic talent! Now move along. I have a heart attack at 4 o'clock. And here it comes. Ooh! Oy vey! We would have to rip out some walls. Done. You won't be seeing those walls no more. Why do these guys come with us for everything? Have you noticed how we are not dead? That is mostly due to them. 
What's that whistling? You know what they say. In a marriage, don't ask a question you don't know the answer to. That's what they say to defense attorneys. This little piggy went to Broadway. Tonight on Hollywood Nightmares. What? Child stars, prison bars. At three months old, Skylar Green could already patty cake. Skylar's life would spin out of control. She began a downward spiral, woke up too many mornings with stuffed animals whose names she didn't know, and she was arrested twice for former cuteness under the Scott Bayo Law. Marge, I love what you've done here. It's as much mwah as it is hey, whoa. It certainly was a challenge. So many bedrooms. Dim lighting, honky-tonk piano. Anthony D'Amico, what is the repute of this house? Ew. Our top story, you didn't see me. So listen, uh, I'm gonna take Maggie out for a walk. These spray-on boas are such a time-saver. Tonight, see Maggie Simpson, the Unborn Comic, the Umbilical Cords, and the Pixie Chicks. And now your host, Sedgwick the Personality. You had lunch, didn't you? I gave you a 2 a.m. curfew for a reason. Shut up. Ugh, oh, where's denial when you need it? Oh, I've created a monster. I've placated a mobster. <gasps> Marge Simpson, are the rumors true? Did you corn cob a cat house? You lie to me. You may scare these guys, but to me, you're just a big fat liar. Well, Anthony, not knowing what I was designing for, there's something I didn't tell you. Your mother had a post office box at this office. You have surrounded a blessed letter to your mother with a bordello. That's it. Shut it down. Apologize to our dear friends at Grey Goose. Goodbye, Mrs. Simpson. Can't you at least wait until I'm out of the building? I'm sorry. I get nervous. I do dumb things. Maybe it's because I'm wearing a wire. Uh-oh. Time for the greatest glory there is. Reflected. <laughs> Look, she's got a tooth coming in. That's the kiss of death for a whistler. <laughs> what? They're booing my Maggie? This is the sweetest little girl in the world. Nice try, but no hook can fit me. Hey, pal, this is a talent show for babies. We ain't going for sweet. <laughs> the only thing that's been worth it about this experience is that I got to spend time with this little girl. Nighty night. Okay, so I'll never enter Maggie into another contest without telling you, and you'll never design another sex palace for the mob. Are you letting up my pants? I'm afraid so. I'm not really a size 32? <laughs> I'm scared, Mom. What if they take me? Don't worry, Barterfinger. You're always the last. Oh. <gasps> what the? Where am I going? You're going to heaven, Dad. Ah! Ah! And now you're on a high shelf where they'll forget about you forever. Why won't the Earth take me? I hear you, my friend. I can't listen to this horror. Okay, I'm on it. Thank you. Why did you order this? I thought it was pizza. Hmm. Don't worry, Maggie. While Mommy and Daddy carouse downstairs, you'll be here in the dark with Pazuzu. Sweet dreams, Maggie. Don't let the measle bumps bite. No one leaves alive. Ooh, her first words. Did someone get that on her phone? Ah, oh, she's got red eye. She's a demon from hell. 
Well, at least we still got the liquor. <laughs> 179. I'm afraid that little devil needs an exorcism. I'm afraid they didn't teach me those at Pepperdine. When is that exorcist going to get here? Marge, we'll be fine. Maggie just learned where the circle is. I'll handle this. First thing, we'll see just how powerful our demon here truly is. The chicken goes. Well, there's only one answer here. By the power of Christ, I say, devil be out! That's all you've got. Well, I say it three times. This guy's good. Devil be out! I am Pazuzu. Devil be out! Oh, Pazuzu is still among us. But where? Ah, 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 ah. <gasps> Bart? Let me out. Let me out. This boy has the darkest soul I've ever seen. It... Oh, no, no. Well, at least it'll get me out of jury duty. Go! So, anyone want to pick up litter at the park today? How about you, Maggie? She's still got a touch of Pazuzu. <laughs> hey, Mr. Cat. What are you playing with? A secret door? Sometimes tiny doors lead to big opportunities. <gasps> you could talk? Indeed. Let's go meet your other family. <gasps> other family? Already the talking cat isn't the most interesting thing. <gasps> Good morning, sleepyhead. For breakfast, tofu or kale? Oh, that's my... <laughs> I wish I could stay forever. Oh, but you can. Oh, steady. <laughs> oh, sweetie, you're just in time. I killed a snake with your saxophone. Can you blow its head out? Here, let me just wipe the blood off the mouthpiece. Buttons, please. She's been gone for days, and the police have been no help. That's not true. I helped you reassemble that high chair. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Bart, how'd you find me? I had an informant. I know, he can talk. He can? I just followed him in. Oh, God. Now I'll have to talk to him. I'm going in there now. You really did it this time, Homer. You lost your family. All right. What is it about this world that's so great? Just what Homer needs, an excuse to get lazier. Why, you little... Uh, 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 that was my part! Wait. You killed my husband? Yep, I got everything just the way I wanted. Including an extra me to go to parent-teacher conferences. And I've learned no matter how bad things are, they can get much, much worse. <laughs> You're killing me! Ah! Uh, Two weeks in Lima, Ohio with Patty and Selma while I'm stuck here working. It's going to be lonely. So lonely. Well, if you really want us to stay... We We've already kissed goodbye and the car heard it. <laughs> Left alone again. Yes, I'm eating provolone again. Food just tastes better in the bathroom now and then. I just love being left alone again. Ah! A single morsel in the house! <gasps> I can't wait to eat. Now to slit it down the middle. Mm, still frozen. Ah! My hot dog! Sometimes a man has to do the unthinkable. Like eat something medium rare. Oh! Makes complete sense. I eat more and exercise less than the most succulent pig. Of course I'm delicious. 
but I must never eat me again. Never! Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, yuck. Oh, disgusting. Homer Simpson, you don't like steak anymore? Actually, i become a bit of a megan. Sorry, Flanders, but I've got more delicious meat in my little finger than you have on this whole picnic table. Actually, Homer, you look like you've lost 20 pounds. Well, I have been cutting back. That means something different to me than you. Homie, you shouldn't be snacking in the middle of the night. It can't be good for your... This is, without question, the worst moment of our entire marriage. Homer, have you considered your wife's feelings? Perhaps she takes this new diet of yours as a comment on her cooking. Marge? I won't deny that's a part of it. See? Progress. <laughs> Maybe deep down that's why I ate myself. Because I hate myself. Sounds like someone had a breakthrough. Hi, I'm famous cooker-upper Mario Batali. My dearest family, I love you so much. I think I found a way to earn your forgiveness. He wanted me to pass on these final words. I've failed as a man, but I have succeeded as an ingredient. I call the brain. Oh. Hey, you ate you. You tasted great, you. Hey, you ate you. Hey, you ate you. You cooked and ate you. How did I get so much meat out of Homer? Uh, you know, you don't.